Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's names have been brought into an outrageous spat on social media by Russian bots, according to reports. Over the last week, members of the royal family have paid their respects to the ongoing crisis. In a rare display of response to a sensitive issue from the royal family, both the Cambridges and the Sussexes made statements, while Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall put the issue at the heart of their work. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge publicly expressed their support to Ukraine following President Putin's invasion of the country via social media. In addition, Prince Harry and Meghan issued a statement via their foundation Archuo showing solidarity with the Ukrainian people impacted by this humanitarian crisis. On Tuesday morning, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky thanked Prince William and Kate for standing by Ukraine's brave citizens at this crucial time. However, Richard Eden, the Daily Mail's diary editor, pointed out how seemingly fans of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had attacked the Ukrainian leader. Harry and Meghan had also sent their own words of support to Ukraine but were not mentioned by Mr. Zelensky, and it is not known whether he has privately thanked them. Mr. Eden said, This was something extraordinary, here we have President, Volodymyr, Zelensky fighting to survive, his life is under threat and he was able to send a message to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, thanking them for their support for the people of Ukraine. He starts then being abused by some of the more strident social media followers of Harry and Meghan, saying why haven't you thanked them? However, Mr. Eden's fellow panelist, author and historian Dr. Tessa Dunlop, wondered whether these accounts could have a more nefarious origin. Dr. Dunlop speculated that the accounts could be Russian bots, tarnishing the Sussex's name. She said, we have to question, to what extent are those trolls and naysayers actually bots, controlled, incidentally, possibly by Russia? Meghan and Harry restated their support for Ukraine on television as they accepted the President's award at the NAACP Image Awards. A lot can change in a week. Last week did a single person outside of the Ukraine know where the Luhansk and Donetsk regions were? I didn't. The denizens of the House of Windsor, I'd wager, had to get out atlases, with both William and Kate, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, and Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex speaking out against the illegal war. Now, they were both economical carefully worded public comments calling out their war, so same same, but there the similarity ended. Look at them side by side and a picture of the Sussex's new life comes into focus which is just a bit, sad. During their acceptance speech, Harry and Meghan paid tribute to Ukrainians and called for global support for the country. Harry said, Before I begin, we would like to acknowledge the people of Ukraine who urgently need our support as a global community. I think it's safe to say I come from a very different background to my incredible wife, yet our lives were brought together for a reason. We share a commitment to a life of service, a responsibility to confront injustice and a belief that the most overlooked are often the most important to listen to. Harry and Meghan, much to their credit, put theirs out on Thursday, the day Russian invaded, releasing a sternly worded single sentence, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and all of us at Archie will stand with the people of Ukraine against this breach of international and humanitarian law and encourage the global community and its leaders to do the same. But therein lies the crux of the issue, the Cambridges and the Sussexes are not the same. And that has nothing to do with nationality or where they live or race, and everything to do with the fact that there is only one duo who actually still carries real political heft, an uncomfortable fact that Harry and Meghan either don't grasp or are happy to pretend otherwise. While we might have two couples, Two statements and two lots of communication staff being made to, probably, draft and redraft these brief missives while sweating over their MacBook Airs, this situation carries the distinct whiff of Sussex status anxiety. Take the fact that they opened with Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, a cudgel-like reminder of their status. Why do they always seem so eternally eager to remind the world that they have titles? Titles, that is, that come from an institution they have had no compunction about very vocally criticizing.